Did you know that some foods can negatively affect your bone density? Yes, you heard right. What you eat can directly impact the health of your bones. Our bones are much more than just rigid structures supporting our body. They are living, growing tissues that require a variety of nutrients to stay strong and healthy. Now we all know that calcium and vitamin D are vital for bone health. But did you ever consider that some foods might actually be doing more harm than good? Certain foods can interfere with the way our bodies absorb and use these essential nutrients, leading to decreased bone density over time. This in turn, can increase our risk of fractures and other bone-related health issues. Understanding this connection between diet and bone health can help us make more informed choices about what we put into our bodies. So, let's delve deeper and discover what foods might be harming our bones. First on our list is soda and caffeinated drinks. Now, we all love a fizzy drink or a strong coffee to perk us up, don't we? But did you know that these beverages could be affecting your bone health? Let's explore how. You see, sodas contain something known as phosphoric acid. This sneaky little compound has a special talent. It can pull calcium right out of your bones. Yes, you heard that correctly. The very same calcium that your bones need to stay strong and healthy could be leached away by your fizzy drink. And what about our beloved caffeine? It turns out caffeine is a diuretic. This basically means it increases the production of urine. And guess what's in that urine? Yep, calcium. So, each time you indulge in a caffeinated drink, you could be inadvertently flushing essential calcium out of your system. So it might be a good idea to limit the intake of these drinks for the sake of our bones. Next up is salt and salty processed foods. You might be surprised to learn that these seemingly innocent pantry staples could be affecting your bone health. But how does this happen? Well, it all comes down to sodium, a key component of salt. When we consume a diet high in sodium, our bodies react by excreting more calcium in our urine. This isn't a one-off event but a constant process that can lead to a significant decrease in bone density over time. Think of it like a bank account. If you're constantly making withdrawals, in this case, calcium from your bones, without making enough deposits, your balance or bone density is going to decrease. This doesn't mean you need to cut out all salt from your diet. It's about moderation and balance. By being mindful of your sodium intake, especially from processed foods which are often high in sodium, you can help maintain your bone health. Keeping an eye on your sodium intake can contribute significantly to your overall bone health. Moving on to protein-rich foods and sugary treats. When it comes to maintaining healthy bones, it's not just about what you consume, but also about balancing your intake. One of the key factors in this balance is protein. Now don't get us wrong. Protein is a crucial nutrient for our bodies. It helps build muscles, repair tissues, and perform a host of other bodily functions. However, if your diet is heavy on protein, particularly from non-plant sources like meat, an imbalance may occur. This excess protein can lead to calcium being leached from your bones. Calcium, as we know, is the fundamental building block of our bones. And when it's pulled away, our bones can become more fragile and prone to fractures. So how can we address this? The answer lies in moderation and variety. Include a diverse range of protein sources in your diet, from both plant and animal sources. This will help ensure you're getting the right amount of protein without the risk of calcium depletion. Now let's talk about something sweet and not so sweet for our bones, sugar. Sugary foods and drinks can have a profound impact on our bone density. When we consume these sweet treats, our bodies respond by producing higher levels of inflammatory markers. Research has linked these markers to lower bone density, but that's not all. When we replace nutrient-rich foods with sugary items, we miss out on beneficial nutrients for bone health. Just think, if you're reaching for a candy bar instead of a piece of fruit, you're trading essential vitamins and minerals for empty calories. This trade-off can lead to a reduction in the nutrients that are crucial for maintaining healthy bones. In conclusion, while protein and sugar might be tempting, it's essential to keep their intake in check. A balanced diet, rich in diverse nutrients, can help maintain your bone health and overall well-being. Balancing your protein intake and reducing sugar consumption could be the key to a healthier bone structure. Last but not least, alcohol and gluten-containing grains. Let's dive into how these two culprits can impact our bone health. First, let's take a look at alcohol. We all know that a glass of red wine can be good for the heart, and there's nothing like a cold beer on a hot summer's day. But when it comes to our bones, regular heavy alcohol consumption can tip the scales in the wrong direction. Here's why. Your body needs calcium to build and maintain strong bones. Alcohol, when consumed excessively, 
interferes with the delicate balance of calcium in your body. It affects the stomach lining, inhibiting calcium absorption, and it can also disrupt the production of vitamin D, a key player in calcium absorption. Over time, this can lead to potential bone loss. So if you're fond of indulging in a few too many drinks, it's time to reconsider that habit for the sake of your bones. Now let's turn our attention to gluten-containing grains. You might be wondering, how can my morning toast or my favorite pasta dish affect my bones? Well, for those who are sensitive to gluten, these seemingly harmless foods can trigger inflammation in the body. This inflammation has been shown to promote increased calcium excretion, meaning your body is losing more calcium than it's absorbing. This can lead to higher odds of developing osteoporosis, a condition that weakens the bones and makes them more prone to fractures. It's important to note that this is only a concern for those with gluten sensitivity or celiac disease. If you suspect you might fall into this category, it's worth talking to your doctor about getting tested. In conclusion, being mindful of your alcohol consumption and understanding your body's reaction to gluten can be significant steps towards maintaining your bone health. Remember, balance is the key. A glass of wine with dinner or a slice of bread for breakfast isn't the issue. It's about moderation and understanding how these foods can impact your body. Being mindful of your alcohol consumption and understanding your body's reaction to gluten can help you maintain your bone health. To wrap it all up, the food and drink choices we make, from soda, salty snacks, excessive protein, sugary treats, alcohol, to gluten grains, can negatively affect our bone health. A balanced diet is key. Remember, what you eat can have a significant impact on your bone health. So choose wisely and stay healthy.